Hello, it's Derek Watson here, a dentist in uh, East Kent and uh, First Impressions Dental here. And today I'd like to cover the subject which I said, uh, I sort of uh, alluded to in my other video on National Health Service versus private treatment. And that is third party capitation plans. Now when I qualified, these things weren't around. And uh, you mustn't get them confused with insurance plans. Insurance plans are a slightly different subject. Let's cover those very quickly. If you have dental insurance or any insurance, then what happens is if anything goes wrong, then um, you, you get the work done and you can make a claim on a third party. Now, they tend not to work in healthcare, and that's because whenever a dentist goes along, uh, when, wherever a patient goes along to a dentist, then what'll happen is, it'll be in the patient's interest to get as much work done as possible so they can claim on their insurance, get the maximum benefit, and it'll be in the dentist's interest to do as much work as possible because he's going to be getting fees for his work. And so it ends up being a conspiracy between the patient and the dentist to make sure that as much work is done as possible. Now that, in terms of uh, your dental health, is not that great because it means that you're getting plenty of fillings and, and extractions and root treatments and things like that, but the health of your mouth is not great and you're, you're having a ton of work every time you go. What that does is that tends to put the premiums up and so as a result um, the uh, insurance companies get a bit uh, uh, fed up with the running dental scheme and people who don't need much work don't join and people who need a ton of work do join and so the premiums eventually spiral out of control um, because of something called health speculation. Now uh, third party capitation plans work slightly differently and what happens there is you pay a flat rate every month which is related to your risk. So it's usually five categories, A to E, where A is a child and E is a complete dental disaster. And uh, your, uh, you pay, pay according to risk. So, and risk is determined by what you've had done in the past. So if you've had 20 fillings done in the past, then you're slightly more risky than someone, let's say, who's had 10 fillings done in the past. So what we do is we count up your fillings, your crowns, and make an opinion, form an opinion of the state of your gums, et cetera, et cetera, and then that puts you in a risk category A to E. Then you play a flat rate every month, and in return, uh, the dentist will then undertake to keep you dentally fit, in other words, keep you healthy. So what you're doing is, in effect, is you're, the dentist is then taking the burden of uh, the cost off you. So if anything goes wrong, if you're on a dental plan, if anything goes wrong with your teeth, then it's the dentist who pays the bill, not you. You pay the monthly subscription, but the dentist pays the cost of any remedial work. Now, that doesn't mean you, you can sit there and not brush your teeth and do anything. I mean, you do have to look after your teeth and there are provisions to exclude people from the scheme if they're quite patently not, not even bothering to try and look after their teeth. But for the most part, that's very rare. So um, patients tend to come in. We see them three times a year instead of twice. Uh, they see the hygienist a lot. Uh, if they need a filling, we have a bit of an inquest. There's a lot of dietary advice, all the sort of stuff that doesn't normally get done because it's in our interest to make sure that you stay healthy. Now, you could say, well, can't I just have all that on a pay-as-you-go basis? And of course, the answer is yes, you can. But um, I've yet to meet a patient who uh, comes in for as much treatment and as much uh, advice and, and oral hygiene advice um, as, uh, as someone who's on the plan. Because on, once you're on the plan, it's free of charge. And so that encourages you to come in. And if the hygienist says to you, like, I'd like to see you next week or in a month's time, just check your brushing, on the plan, you're going to say yes. On a pay-as-you-go basis, you're going to say no. Uh, you're going to say, no, is it all right if we leave that six months? You know, do you mind if I just defer that visit? I don't want to see the hygienist again. I don't want to pay another 50, 60 pounds to see the hygienist. Can we just, you know, can, can we deal with that at my next checkup and whatever? So as a result, people who are on dental plans tend to be extremely fit and healthy uh, and keep their teeth a long time. People on pay-as-you-go basis, uh, even private pay-as-you-go basis, don't tend to keep their teeth quite so long, in my opinion. And of course, National Health Service is um, basically is... Well, not, we've mentioned the National Health Service. It's a, I'm not going to say it's a bad service if for you, if you're, you know, it's your only option, then then it's your only option. So that's um, that's a full capitation plan. What I've described there. Now, um, what the, the there are other types of capitation plans. There's one where, for example, you pay a flat rate per month and you get three checkups and three scale and polishes, but your treatment then is is chargeable, although you may get a discount on it. I'm not so keen on those because, uh, again, you know, you get this health speculation where it's in the dentist's interest and your interest to make sure that uh, some, some, some work is found, some work is done. Um, the best type are the type where you pay a flat rate and everything's free. 
because then it's only it's it's only the dentist is the only person that gets hurt if if you're you're not healthy and 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 once he's taken on that responsibility then it's the dentist who should get a kick out the backside if anything goes wrong so I, I really do encourage those plans and we offer those sort of plans here so that's the third type of um, treatment provision system the third party capitation plan and that goes runs alongside in most surgeries nhs and private private uh, practice so nice to talk to you i'll talk to you next time bye